Coming up, our crew makes an unusual discovery on our Mozambique beach. We zoom in on some smaller creatures in Indonesia and get close to a giant tortoise on an island in the Seychelles. In southern Mozambique, one gets these wide-ranging beaches with absolutely no development. And on the low tide, the sea sometimes serves up something desirable for the crabs. It's too small for us to see, but they definitely know it's there. And they emerge from the breakers to harvest this crop of food that comes in. These little crabs are fascinating. They, they're like little four-wheel drive vehicles that operate on these beaches and they'll find anything edible and clean it up and I guess that's part of their job. But in one particular area they really struck gold. We think this is a pygmy sperm whale which washed up overnight. And it didn't take long for these crabs to take control of the area, making a ring of holes around the periphery, almost staking their claim. I walked back at night wanting to document their activity and to see what they would do on the whale carcass. prime position seem to be right on top of the whale and you can see this individual picking off tiny bits of skin. The ones down below trying to get up to that pole position on top but some having traction problems and the ones on top not willing to part with the prime spot. Decomposition and the work of these little creatures will take care of this carcass and sooner or later there'll be just bones left. We walk for a few hours through the jungle and then come to this pristine pool of water above a waterfall. And it is always wonderful for me to come across pure water in these wonderful wild places. Our first stop is under a tree whose trunk is beautifully adorned with hundreds and hundreds of snails. Each shell a beautiful spiraled cone. In a hole in the trunk in near darkness, a clump of these snails are in the throes of copulation. This creature is a hermaphrodite, each animal having both male and female sex organs. A newly hatched dragonfly. This creature that is one of the oldest order of insects on this planet. At one time in the fossil record, growing wingspans of up to 70 centimeters and body lengths of 60 centimeters, that is a very, very big insect. Quite something. The little coral sand beach in between the boulders 
is the gateway for us as we walk into the forest and up towards the little peak on this island. And it didn't take long before one of these big creatures made an appearance. Just over a metre long, 60 or 70 centimetres high. And unafraid of us. Looking for the berries, bright pink berries. I'm sure these tortoises can see colour. Lumbering across the, the needles on the floor of Moyen Island. Once I've spotted them, they're really on a mission to grab them before any other tortoise gets to this little berry. The berries seem to get stuck on the, the top mandible. And it seems like quite a problem these tortoises have to actually dislodge the, the squishy fruit from the, from the top jaw. Spots another one just behind. And once again, a clumsy chewing process begins. The tongue is very spongy and, and sticky. This one manages to drop a piece. Picks it up again along with a, a mouthful of casuarina needles. And lumbers off down the slope towards another stand of fruit bearing undergrowth. It wasn't long before another, even bigger individual emerged from another stand of, of growth. I think they could both smell the fruit on the jaws of each other. And I think it was actually trying to pick off some titbits that were stuck on the face of the tortoise on the left. I don't think this was fighting. I think it's just a, the ever-present search for food. The next pink berry caught the attention of the animal on the right. And it ambled off in search of another meal. Next week, our crew continues their exploration of the beautiful Seychelles.